In Berlin Iron you will often find yourself attacking an enemy force or a position they have recently captured. This can be difficult for some, since there are many ways to approach this, and since they are in a fortified position, most likely, you will take a lot of casualties without being able to hit them. This can lead to your team dying before they reach the fort, or reaching the fort with too few people. But fret not as I will be teaching you how to properly approach this situation. First, you're going to have to find some strategic positions and build a fort. A small one, enough to provide cover and a staging ground. This is the first and most crucial part of the plan. Since if you cannot stage properly, you don't really stand a chance in a real charge. Currently, I am heading to the most advantageous spot in most maps, the roof. You get a great spot to snipe, and also, half the roof is covered, so it's quite hard to get shot. Two other steps in our team are making a small trench which can serve two purposes. It can serve as a staging ground for assaults, and as a last stand once the assault fails, which, if you follow the tactic properly, is not very likely. It is important that if you are securing a strategic point, it is the best strategic point that you can find. Since if you put one that's a bit too far, snipers won't be able to shoot properly. One that's way too close, the snipers are going to be the ones getting sniped. There's another very important part of this step. You have to make enough cover to allow your team to all go to one place, so at least everyone that's going to be charging. Once you manage to complete this step, you are now ready to move on to the next step, actually charging. It is very crucial to take your time during this step, since if you die, you will make the assault harder, and also far harder to survive if the assault does happen to fail. During this step, sappers are key, since you have to move up to this fort without suffering any casualties, ideally, though you will probably suffer some. It is ideal to have more than one sapper for this step, since a single sapper will struggle to cover long distances, and it's far easier to take out than multiple sappers. It is also very important that you constantly move up just in case, and if you're gonna try to stay back, at least Stay shooting at the enemy and don't just stand still, I guess? Not contribute? It is also very important to make sure you are using natural cover. Then sappers won't be able to build fast enough to reach the enemy before they are inevitably gunned down. The more time you spend getting closer to the enemy, the more likely you are to eventually die. Which is why getting to the enemy the fastest you can is key. It is very important that you do finish the step without losing all sappers or a lot of infantry since then you will have to retreat. If you do this you have failed the charge and you're gonna have to attempt to somehow win the game with hopefully at least half of the team. Although if you fail the charge it is far more likely to only have 5 people left sense. Everyone's gonna get gunned down retreating, but they're also gonna get gunned down if they stay in so. But if you do manage to succeed this step, you're not ready to move on to the most important step. This one, zappers are also important, and if you're a non-combat role, you can also assist you. In this step, all efforts are to go into destroying the enemy's cover so that anyone with a gun can have a far easier time at shooting them down. This also makes it far harder for them to retreat depending on their location. Which is why it is also important to make sure you enclose the enemy in a single location. Since if you do give them multiple places to get out of, you are likely to end up in a chase. If this step is successful, which is most likely to happen, every single man is to move up and engage in a melee. By this point, you will likely have more people than the enemy, so the melee will eventually succeed, and you will win the battle. In this last part, having at least one sapper 
will practically guarantee you a win. Though no sappers are really needed, since as long as they did their job and destroyed all the cover, it will be very easy to pick the enemy off. But this battle was under the best case scenario, where there is no artillery or cavalry. If you are to face any artillery or cavalry, it's gonna be slightly different. I will also be showing how one sap can carry an entire army of militia into winning a shard, at least at close ranges. To make sure that you do succeed in the cavalry map with some artillery, you are gonna have to make sure that all cav is dead before you charge, since cavalry will be a nightmare for charging infantry, especially if they are on horses, which is the main point of cavalry. This is because cavalry is very great at picking people off, they deal a lot of damage and can at times be far harder to kill than a regular rifleman. Anyways, in this battle we secured the town as a staging point and we started moving up using natural cover. I was the only sapper so it was very slow and a bit treacherous. Everyone was also a partisan so we had to get close up if we ever wished to win since not all of us had guns which is not ideal for an assault. But this tactic is in fact very effective to even work with a very non-ideal team, to say the least. We were also very lucky that the artillery did not shoot a single round, though it likely would not make a difference, since artillery takes far too long to actually load and fire shots. Anyway, I managed to get into the penultimate steps, started breaking down the walls, and once we all got here, we begun the melee, which the Austrians had no chance in winning. However, we did make a very small mistake during this very fast assault, which it was very successful in all regards. Forgot to kill one single cavalryman, who managed to delay the round for three minutes after we finally won the assault. Really shows that round layers are the hardest problem in this game. 